People, Profit, Planet of the three sides of the pyramid we call the Henry Bellman Sustainability Awards. The winner of the Quality of Life for All Award, the People side of the pyramid, goes to INCOG and its Ozone Alert program. Tulsa also has an ozone alert. The great counties you see in Oklahoma City, that is also an ozone alert. By now, you know about ozone alerts, the warnings. It is a health issue. It's like a sunburn in our lungs. And the forecast. We had an alert today. We have another ozone alert in effect for tomorrow. And you've certainly heard over and over again what to do and what not to do when it's an ozone alert day. For a generation, ozone alerts have been ingrained in our daily summer life. When ozone producing pollutants are in the air we breathe, Everyone in the Tulsa Metro is asked to do their part to keep us off the EPA's dirty air list and to make the place we call home a little healthier. But what you may not know is how the Ozone Alert program got its start and became the blueprint for similar programs all over the country. I kept complaining and I don't want to sit around and do nothing. In 1991, John Self was a Tulsa County Commissioner and was concerned about Tulsa's air quality. At the time, Tulsa was exceeding ozone levels, so Self called INCOG. And so they made me the chairman of the Air Quality Committee. The committee recruited from government, industry, environmental groups, as well as the PR side. A lot of these people have, have very different interests in, in many respects, but at the same time, all were interested in, in, okay, how can business, how can the environmental groups, how can we all get together and make the air quality in Tulsa better. Nancy Graham is INCOG's Air Quality Program Manager. From the very beginning, uh, there were there was the intent to create solutions because all of us breathe this air all of us want to keep it as clean as possible that led to the creation of the five county ozone alert program it's a program that started here 20 years ago and since then has been copied by dozens of cities around the country we're quite proud of the fact that it's it the grassroots effort to really care about the air quality and this ozone issue started right here in this region. A lot of people were very surprised at the time to say Tulsa, Oklahoma, they're, they, they're setting the curb on air quality. They're, they're the ones who, who are jumping out there in front. And to this day, we still are uh, not on the dirty air list and we're still striving to improve the uh, ozone levels over time. Still every summer, a growing Tulsa Metro occasionally struggles to keep ozone levels in check. So the Ozone Alert program will continue to play a role in our health as well as the health of future generations. It's important for me that as a citizen in Tulsa that that we do what we can to make it better not just for ourselves but but certainly for our children and our grandchildren. Congratulations to INCOG and its nationally known Ozone Alert program, the winner of the 2012 Bellman Quality of Life for All Award.